Hello, this is Broy, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Civilization VI, playing the Rise and Fall expansion as Scotland. Playing on Deity uh, Pangea maps. So we've got a huge map here. Lots and lots of land. It's going to be really, really good, I think. Uh, I'm about to send us another city down here, sending it down to this spot. Currently, we are friends with China, who is down here, and Persia, who is over here somewhere. There's one of his cities, but I think he's got the other ones up that direction. Uh, Netherlands is not super happy with us. She's over here, and then Cree are up north. And they're kind of indifferent to us at the moment, so we'll see what we can do about friends and trade routes and things like that, because we really want to build up some of those early alliances with the new alliance mechanics in Rise and Fall. It's really, really beneficial to have those early on. And, uh, let's see. Temple of Artemis has been built. That's fine. It'd be kind of interesting to see what difficulty of a game I would have to play at in order to guarantee, well not necessarily guarantee, but like to, to actually work towards getting every single wonder in the game for one civilization. I, mean, I don't know how, how low I'd have to go. Probably pretty low. Probably at least down, I mean maybe even all the way down to Prince where there's like no bonuses for the, the NPCs at all. I may even have to go lower than that to make sure you get literally every single wonder possible. Because a lot of those wonders come out around the same time, so you'd have to make sure your science is just as good as your production. Probably have to play as China, come to think of it, to be able to get the uh, the rushes as well. It'd be an interesting, interesting uh, kind of personal achievement. I don't think there's an achievement for that in the game, but like a personal achievement that you do yourself. Hello, Australia. I forgot that that was Australia because they changed his color. He's now green as opposed to the orange that he was before, which I guess they gave to the Netherlands. Green and black. Which I guess is fine. I can get used to it. It's actually a lot closer than I would have expected, considering we hadn't met him yet. Um, I'm really not sure what I want to do with you. Start moving back up this direction some more. Just, just see what we can find, wherever we can find it. This is probably, I was going to say, this is probably the northern edge of the map since we're already seeing Tundra, which it is in fact. Ah, there's our settler. Looks like the loyalty will be fine here, so let's go ahead and settle here. Be able to be right next to those sugar. That's going to be really good for us, right on the river. All right, um, let's get us out. kind of want to get an early monument. Just be able to get that growth going for our borders. Make sure we get as much of this as we can before China gets some of it. Do need another builder as well soon. But let's do, let's do the monument first. Keep some keep some of those borders going. Four turns on a trader. And then we'll figure out what we want to do after that. Probably our science center. Uh, yeah, I'll look elsewhere in the future. I probably won't be settling super near you for a little bit. Next settled might be over here, which I don't think will be close enough to break that promise. I hope not. Let's go ahead and alert you here. That's going to be fine. Oh, actually, never mind. There is actually a, an encampment over here. Which I may move this scout back to help take out. Move you there first, then we'll kind of move you back along the coast, maybe. Mr. Warrior, how about you come over this direction? We'll see what we can do about that. You're going to move in here. And next turn, hopefully take your promotion. Even though it's a minor defeat, I feel like kind of just working on this and then maybe turtling up. Just really trying to get us some experience on these guys. Well, it's only worth one XP. Get as much as we can. All right, you're gonna keep on coming down this direction. There's a scout there. You need to upgrade to a archer in one turn. Going to heal you up a bit. May the forces of evil become confused while your arrow is on its way to. Here's our dark. archers. Um, you know, I've never ever gotten Temple of Artemis. Each camp, pasture, and plantation improvement within four tiles of this wonder provides plus one amenity. It's a really, really nice wonder, especially for, for Scotland, honestly. But uh, I don't see it something that we're going to be getting anytime soon. 
Alrighty. Uh, irrigation would be good, although we need to farm a resource to get that uh, that boost. And I would really like to get the boosts as much as possible. Um, let's come down here towards bronze working. Figuring out where the iron is can help a lot with a lot of things. Uh, yeah, go ahead and let's move you this direction. Let's go ahead and take your archer upgrade. You're going to be moving back in this direction. Oh, Aztec. We have an Aztec in our Netherlands game as well. Interesting. Let's see where you're at. Why not? Oh, you're way down there. I don't think you're going to be a problem for a while. That is fine with us. You have to go through Australia before you can get to us. Especially with these cliffs here. There's only a couple places they can come up if they were going to come across the water as well. Are right, you going to sneak down here? Um, Chinese slinger should not be a problem since we're still friends. Let's... I'm actually going to keep you nearby, come to think of it. Just don't want anything bad to happen. I'm actually going to stick you right here between the two cities just to make sure you cover both of them. All right, um, you need to heal a tick at least, probably a couple ticks, and then we'll move you back out again. Oh, you're being denounced. That's fine. Not really that big of a deal. Again, you're too far away to really be too much of a problem. All right, I still want to get that. Oh, I spent my money. That was uh, on my upgrade. I meant to save up for the campus. That's all right. Let's get a builder out then. We need another one anyway. Promotion there on our warrior. Really good. All right, trade routes. Well, Jerusalem does want a trade route, and that get us some more, some more happiness with them, which is fine. You know, some more gold wouldn't be that big of a deal. Let's do that. Let's go for Jerusalem. Another, another guy there. Some currency, nice. Pretty safe trade route as well, so that's going to be fine. Hang Gardens has been completed. So we don't even have the option to build the uh, Temple of Artemis. I'm guessing it's already been built, or maybe we just... Yeah, because we have a pasture here, so... I'm assuming it's already been built. It seems like it always gets built very, very early on in the games that I've seen. It's probably why I've just never even think about it. Uh, let's go ahead and take your promotion. Uh, don't know. Let's go battle cry with you. It's gonna be fine. It's relevant to the current situation. All right, Mr. Warrior, keep doing your attack. Goal is to get that guy low enough for this scout to hopefully get a get a kill himself. A little bit more XP where we can. Looks like we have enough points for a normal age, which is fine. I don't want to take that attack yet, obviously. Um it's gonna put him pretty low, but I think this is fine. Can we take this attack? Oh no, George, you can't even move there anyway. And yeah, it wouldn't, it wouldn't result in a kill anyway. Um, let's see here. Technically, could get the kill there. Let's give him a little bit of XP here. Let's do this first. 8 XP is not bad at all, and then we'll finish off with there. Should still be fine to be able to defend off the uh, the scout. Apparently I make history. That's weird that it's scrolled across. Um, because they were close to Aberdeen, I guess. Fine with me. I say it's not our first encampment, I don't think. Pretty sure we got the one up here earlier. Yeah, we did, because we... Uh, 
We uh, he moved out and we took it for free. Oh, an early golden age would be very fascinating. A little unexpected. Oh, so you're happy that I've been going after the barbarians. Well, you're welcome. I like seeing a smile on your face. All right, they took that out. That's fine. All right, let's move you back home. Uh, I'm just going to heal you in place, though, because you're going to go back out and do some more exploration of some people, especially since there's somebody there. Now you're fully healed up. Perfect. Let's get you moving around. Uh, we are true friends with the smaller civilizations. We appreciate that you recognize this fact. You're welcome, I think. Not that it's necessarily intentional, but it's all good. Ooh, hello there. Should be able to still take an attack from this guy, but it is not going to be easy. That guy right there. Spearmen are pretty tough against these scouts, it looks like. I guess any unit is tough against the scouts early on. <laughs> They're so weak in the early game. Uh, he didn't come after us. Definitely not attacking him, though. Uh, I think coming down here to go after his scout buddy, though, is definitely not a bad idea. Especially if the scout's going to attack us first. Early Empire. Nice. Nice. Let's go ahead and finish this off. Should be should, should still be safe from the Spearman because he won't be able to get to us in one turn. Get us some XP. Only one XP though. Really? I wonder why we only got one. Yeah, I guess because it's a scout. That makes sense. Now that I think about it. It's a measly little scout. All right. Now we can build our campus where we want to. Yes. 95 gold. Well worth it, I think. Going to be a really good campus for us. All right, Mr. Builder, uh, your job is to come down here and hook up the rice as soon as, or the sugar, I should say, as early as possible. Which we still need irrigation. So when they get irrigation, what do we need? A farm anywhere or just a specific resource? Resource. Um, guess the rice over here. Yeah, I guess we'll come down here to the rice first. That's going to be fine. Still need to get the tea, but we'll get the tea once we get irrigation. Uh, yep, going to heal up, Mr. Warrior. Uh, those who fuse trade? Apparently you want to trade, huh? Is that really one of your things? Alright, go away. It's not played her her before. I actually didn't know what her thing was. Tries to maximize trade routes. Like civilizations that trade with her. Come on, let me finish it. Like civilizations that trade with her, dislikes those who do not. Okay, so we'll, we'll open up a trade work with you to see if we can get you a little a little happy. That's gonna be fine with me. Um yeah, let's go for early empire, since we've already got a boost to it anyway. Uh, we'll get state workforce once we get our campus. All right, you're going to go ahead and heal up where you're at. Do probably just not need to start sending some of my scouts back home. Well, I mean, it's fine. It's still having to explore, I suppose. It's going to be a massive land. Uh, massive map, though. Lots and lots of land. I actually don't think I've ever played on Pangea before. I usually go for like random or shuffle or fractal or things like that. Or even continents where there's just like two big land masses. I mean, one massive land masses. Definitely a cool change of pace, I think. We need to get another city out, I believe, somewhere. Probably over here in the mountains is my, my guess. Up oh, world enters classical. We get to make a dedication. Very cool. We are definitely in the normal age, which is fine. Actually, quite a few people in golden ages. More power to them, I suppose. Um, we're probably going to get a lot of Eurekas. Probably going to get a lot of Inspiration. So either one of these is probably fine. 
Um, constructing a building that provides science also gets us plus one. So I'm kind of leaning towards this direction. Each time we construct a new special district. Um, yeah, let's go. Let's go inquiry. I think that's going to be fine. Bronze we'll get a decent number of those. Of uh, let's start working on, let's see, irrigation, I'm thinking. Yes, because we'll be able to get out here one turn. We'll get it next turn and the irrigation will be just right. Ooh, Australia coming in here, getting to where we wanted with those mountains. That is that is gonna be it's gonna be a problem for sure. I really don't like Australia doing that. Uh we're gonna go and hook up this. That actually completed irrigation for us. Okay. I don't know if I saw that happening. It said five turns we were gonna get doing this gets us the boost, which should give given us what? Maybe I misread the number of turns. <laughs> I will take it. Um, what's next? Money is always good, so I'm going to go for currency. Come down here for battery ram if we want to go after Australia. Um, and at some point, I guess we'll have to go holy site, maybe. Water mill would be good with our, you know what, water mill is going to be pretty good. It's going to get some more production. Nine turns on our campus. So that is good. Um, ah, they're coming at us. Uh, I think we can tank it out though. Let's, let's see what we can do with that. As long as they don't send another unit at us from up there, that's going to be fine. I'm going to hook up the, uh, sugar and then we'll swing over here probably to hook up the tea after that. All right. You need to go do something productive. Um, let's see. Let's check the set, uh, settlement map. Still a couple places in here we could technically settle, even with uh, even with this guy here. Like here wouldn't be the worst. It's not really rare wanted, I don't think, but it's not terrible. Um, what do I want to do with the scout? I got a scout kind of come up this direction, maybe over here to the west. Uh, yeah, you're going to go ahead and tank out as much as you can, see if you can get a little bit more XP. Uh, Persia's got a new religion. Fine with me. It's going to help us. Did they pass it to us? Okay, yeah, we're good here. Definitely, definitely helping out with this tanking. Um, tempted to go after that guy, but then the Spearman could come get us, so we're not going to do that. Uh, warrior, you are good to go. Could swing over here and see what we can do about Australia kind of coming this way. I mean, truth be told, we could start an early war against Australia, I suppose. Don't know if that's necessarily the greatest idea. Where they look on military, they're actually at 257, so they're pretty strong. We actually need to we need to start working on some some units to make sure Australia doesn't come over here and t knock us out. Although to help with that, getting a couple of these scouts and things like that, scouts and warriors and whatnot in these passes was really going to keep him from being able to come at me. So that is actually a decent idea. Like sticking one guy right there, maybe. Uh, apparently you have to go that direction. That's not the direction I want you to go. How about you come up here? Maybe there's something in the way, apparently. Warrior. Um, actually, Scout, you're just going to stay right kind of right where you're at. And then Warrior, you're going to come over here to that, that, that mine. And we'll probably stick the archer behind you. Just to really defend against that guy. I'm a little worried about him coming over here. Right, keep on fortifying there. Hopefully that warrior suicides against us. Because that'll be some good XP. So the scout there we gotta go deal with. Trade route was plundered by that scout. Really? Really? Thought this was going to be a really safe trade route, but of course those scouts coming in here, or those, uh, barbarians. Um, let's move you up here, see if we can go after him with that guy. We'll worry about this side later, I suppose. Alright, go ahead and hook this up. It's going to help us out a lot. We're looking on amenities. Plus one there, which is fine. Plus two here. 
which is pretty good. Which gets us at what? Just happy, though. Was it plus three or higher, I think, to get ecstatic? I actually don't remember. Man, losing the trade out is really annoying. Um, just so I can see a bit more, I'm going to move you up to here and then fortify you there. Ah, hello, Mr. Scout. Ah, oh, there's a barbarian encampment there. Well, we will go deal with that. There's actually one up there as well we can go deal with as, as well. Do I bother keeping this guy here? Maybe not. I mean, if, if Australia's not causing any problems yet. Let's just go after this stuff. Man, that trade route. That's annoying. Um, I think we need to get some more land units, though. I'm actually kind of tempted to just get another scout out. It's really, I mean, it's, they are really weak, but they're not terrible. Um, get a little bit of early experience where we can. Because as we can see, we've seen up here that if they get on a good, you know, tile, they can tank out pretty good. You know what, let's just get another scout. Why not? We're going to play that. That's our strategy. It's probably, maybe it's a wrong strategy, but I'm going to play it play it out, see what happens. Uh, let's go ahead and get up here, get to the T, get some more ex uh, luxuries. As many luxuries as we possibly can. All right, Mr. Warrior, let's get over here. Archers coming up. Scouts go ahead and head this direction as well, though I'm not sure what China's doing. Get out of your way. Maybe you're going after Australia. And I think we're going to go ahead and put a uh, cut in here. That guy's healing up there just fine. We'll see what happens next time. See if this scout strategy is going to even pay off. It's going to be very hard, very hard to get them the XP we need without them dying on us. But if we can, if we can, this can make for a very interesting game in the middle. Uh, in the mid game, I should say. Anyway, I do appreciate you watching and I hope you join me again next time. Thank you and goodbye.